A reading from the book of Genesis. Jacob called his sons and said to them, Assemble and listen, sons of Jacob. Listen to Israel, your father. You, Judah, shall your brothers praise, your hand on the neck of your enemies. The sons of your father shall bow down to you. Judah, like a lion's whelp, you have grown up on prey, my son. He crouches like a lion, lion recumbent, the king of beasts. Who would dare arouse him? The scepter shall never depart from Judah, or the mace from between his legs, while tribute is brought to him, and he receives the people's homage. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The responsorial psalm, justice shall flourish in his time, and fullness of peace forever. Justice shall flourish in his time, and fullness of peace forever. O God, with your judgment endow the king, and with your justice the king's son. He shall govern your people with justice, and your afflicted ones with judgment. Justice shall flourish in his time, and fullness of peace forever. The mountains shall yield peace for the people, and the hills justice. He shall defend the afflicted among the people, save the children of the poor. Justice shall flourish in his time, and fullness of peace forever. Justice shall flower in his days, and profound peace, till the moon be no more. May he rule from sea to sea, and from the river to the ends of the earth. Justice shall flourish in his time, and fullness of peace forever. May his name be blessed forever, as long as the sun his name shall remain. 
In him shall all the tribes of the earth be blessed. All the nations shall proclaim his happiness. Justice shall flourish in his time, and fullness of peace forever. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. O wisdom of our God most high, guiding creation with power and love, come to teach us the path of knowledge. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel. A reading from the beginning of the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to, Glory you, Lord. to you, O Lord. The book of the genealogy of Jesus Christ, the son of David, the son of Abraham. Abraham became the father of Isaac, Isaac the father of Jacob, Jacob the father of Judah and his brothers. Judah became the father of Perez and Zerah, whose mother was Tamar. The rest became the father of Israel, Israel the father of Ram, Ram the father of Aminadab. Aminadab became the father of Nashu, Nashu the father of Solomon, Solomon the father of Boaz, whose mother was Rahab. Boaz became the father of Obed, whose mother was Ruth. Obed became the father of Jesse, Jesse the father of David the king. David became the father of Solomon whose mother had been the wife of Uriah. Solomon became the father of Rehoboam. Rehoboam, the father of Abeja. Abeja, the father of Asa. Asa became the father of Jehoshaphat. Jehoshaphat, the father of Joram. Joram, the father of Uzziah. Uzziah became the father of Jotham. Jotham, the father of Ahaz. Ahaz, the father of Hezekiah. Hezekiah became the father of Manasseh. Manasseh, the father of Amos. Amos, the father of Josiah. Josiah became the father of Jeconiah and his brothers at the time of the Babylonian exile. After the Babylonian exile, Zebuniah became the father of Shealtiel, Shealtiel the father of Zerubbabel, Zerubbabel the father of Abiu, Abiu became the father of Eliakim, Eliakim the father of Azor, Azor the father of Zadok, Zadok became the father of Achim, Achim the father of Eliu, Eliu the father of Eleazar, Eleazar became the father of Martha, Martha, the father of Jacob, Jacob, the father of Joseph, the husband of Mary. Of her was born Jesus, who is called Christ. Thus the total number of generations from Abraham to David is 14 generations. From David to the Babylonian exile, 14 generations. From the Babylonian exile to the Christ, 14 generations. The Gospel of the Lord. For praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Father. Today we hear the uh, book of the genealogy of our Lord uh, Jesus Christ, the son of David, the son of Abraham. 
you know, it's very important to do, to trace our family tree. It's good to know those uh, people important to our family. In American culture, I don't know to you, but for me it's hard to trace uh, relatives because you have, uh, you do not maintain the family name of the father. But in our culture and other traditions also, we always have uh, the family name of the father from generation to generation. So if I know Kabasana, uh, for example, I know it's a relative, it's from the same family tree because we maintain the family name of the father. So the father always uh, have the same family name. And, and so I know even if they live very far, if it's Kapasaga, I know there's only uh, three brothers who started that family name. And uh, from me to that uh, generation is like four generations. In the Gospel, St. Matthew traces the lineage from Abraham, the father of God's chosen people, through the line of David, king of Israel. And we can see the lineage that our Lord Jesus Christ, and looking at it humanly through St. Joseph, he, here we see that he is a direct descendant of Abraham and David, and the rightful heir to David's uh, throne. It is very important because of God's promise. And now God in his mercy fulfilled that promise to Abraham and to David that he would send a savior and king to rule over the house of Israel and to deliver them from their enemies. And there are many promises of the fathers to their son. When Jacob blessed his son, he foretold that Judah would receive the promise of royalty, which we see was fulfilled in David. And so Jesus is the fulfillment of all God's promises. We are so lucky to know that Jesus is our sovereign King and Lord of our life. He is the hope of all these uh, crazy things that are happening around us. The one that all prophets the Old Testament prophesies, predicted that it would come in time. And all the prophets in, in the Old Testament were all awaiting to his coming. But it was only Saint John the Baptist who was able to see the glory of God in Jesus Christ. He is the Holy One that everyone was waiting for, and who came to save everyone from slavery of sin. It was only through him that we all become children of God, become citizens of the kingdom of God, where in him we receive adoption into royal priesthood, holy nation, and our sons and daughters of the living God. Please stand. And now we pray for our church, for our community, and for ourselves as we continue to pray for the intentions of our Holy Father and our bishops. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. We pray for our community, that we all be protected from this deadly virus. 
We pray also that all those who are watching this uh, live streaming, their prayers be answered and also protected. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for healing for Krisa Salcido, for Carmel, for B.G. Spinoza, and also for all those our prisoners who are homebound, especially those whose names are written in our church bulletin. For it's Rizzo, for John Rosensky, Lenora, Donna, Jane, Mai, and also for Silvestri. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. And in silence of our hearts, let us pray for our own personal special intentions. souls of Jacob Kidd, for the souls of Father Remargin, also for the souls of Father Ben, Father Paul, and Father Caesar. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. special intentions and the intentions of all those who are watching this uh, live streaming. For healing also for Rose Lico, the Serpa, Irene Lavitad, and Bob Ramos. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. At all these prayers and intentions, we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. For through your goodness, we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the wine, a work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be God forever. and sisters that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May, may the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and good of all his holy church. Accept we pray, O Lord, these offerings we make gathered from among your gifts to us. And we want you grant us to celebrate devoutly here below. Gain for us the prize of eternal redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly 
right and just. Our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Mother, Almighty and Eternal God, true Christ our Lord. For he has human his first coming, the loneliness of human flesh, and so fulfilled the design you formed long ago, and opened for us the way to eternal salvation. That when he comes again in glory and majesty, and all is at last made manifest, we will watch for the day, we inherit the great promise, in which we, in which now we dare to hope. And so, with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God host, heaven and earth are full of your glory, O Son in thy highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, O Son in thy highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, upon of all holiness, and make holy therefore this gift by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a seminar, we will suffer my Sunday. He took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins, do this in memory of The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Gather with Francis our Pope, Jaime our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her church spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we be married to be course to eternal life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, 
All glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. And the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, O Lord, we pray from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. O Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will to live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. And the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take Enjoy away the, the sins, sins of the world. world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. For those watching this live streaming and cannot receive Christ in the Holy Communion at Mass, please join me in this spiritual communion prayer. In union, dear Lord, with the priests at every altar of your church, where your blessed body and blood are being offered to the Father, I desire to offer you praise and thanksgiving. I present to you my soul and body with the earnest wish that I may be always united to you. And since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, I ask you to come spiritually into my heart. I unite myself to you and embrace you with all the affections of my soul. Oh, let nothing ever separate you from me. Let me live and die in your love. Amen.
Let us pray. May the mysteries, O Lord, in which we have participated, profit us, we pray. For even now, as we walk amid passing things, you teach us by them to love the things of heaven and hold fast to what endures through Christ our Lord. Amen. And the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless everyone, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our lives ascended, go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. We started our penance uh, services yesterday, five, from five to seven today, also and uh, tomorrow, penance services, five in the afternoon, in the evening, to seven in the evening, and then on Saturday from eight o'clock to ten o'clock in the morning. Also, uh, thank you for all those who are watching this uh, live streaming. I noticed from the very beginning we already have a regular people that really uh, continue to watch us every morning, like uh, Karen Lau, Ming Zemar, uh, mine and Benji, uh, mine and Bong de los Santos, and Marilyn and Benji, and all those are prisoners who continue to watch to uh, live streaming. Thank you for. Uh, with us through this online uh, live stream. Thank you. God bless everyone. God bless you, God. Are you? <laughs> and the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless everyone, Father and Son and the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. Have a blessed day.